Hey, my name is Happy. I help candidates in .NET interview preparation. After watching this video, you will be able to answer this question in any interview. If you have any confusion in any interview question, then post in the comment section and I will make a video on it. So let's start with this question. Let's see what you have to answer to the interviewer. A string is immutable in C sharp. This is a one word answer. Now, what does it mean? It means if you define one string, then you could not modify it. Every time you will assign some new value to it, then it will create a new string. Now, let me show you and let me prove this thing to you in the code. Here we have one string str1 and then we are manipulating the str1 by adding some extra string to it, right? So we have this str1 and then we are modifying this str1 here. But here is the cache. The value will be changed but first a string str1 is a different string and then this new str1 is a completely different string in the memory so in short both these strings are different and occupy different memory in process or i will say uh, by looking at it you will be thinking that these are the same string uh, it, str1 interviews same and this new str1 which will be interview happy will be same but no these are different because strings are immutable once you assign a value to a string then if you will try to modify it then it will create the new string so that is immutable and that is what is a string is now let's see what is a string builder then a string builder is mutable so that is basically opposite of a string so what does that mean this means that if any manipulation will be done on a string then it will not create a new instance every time so exactly opposite of the string now let me show you the code also see here we have this str2 which is a object of the string builder class now if i will append any values in str2 then in the memory no new string is created rather the same str2 well, uh, string will remain there at the same location or address and only the values will be updated from like initially it will be interview one then interview one happy one so uh, whatever operation you want to do with this str2 the uh, reference will be same but value will be updated now the thing is both this strings will remain in memory as i said so this is the difference between a string and a string builder now the question is when to use what so the simple answer is if you want to change a string multiple times then a string builder is a better option from performance point of view because it will not require new memory every time so uh, for example if you have a string str1 and then you are it manipulating it like 10 15 20 times then it is creating every time a new object or a, that is that will definitely impact the performance rather go with the string builder which will refer to the same object and with just append the new values for the string builder so that is the answer of this question if you have any thoughts or questions about this particular question and please let me know in the comment section.